My name is Miss Cracker, just like the snack. I'm named after my favorite food, Brie on a Cracker. So my original drag name was Brianna Cracker. And uh, I'm originally from Seattle, but I have been in New York City for 15 years. And when you pay that much in subway fare and rent, you are a New Yorker, so. I never wanted to be a drag queen. <laughs> I never wanted to be a drag queen, but I ran into someone on the street who did drag and they convinced me uh, to give it a try. I was like 26 years old. I became Miss Cracker and he became Bob the Drag Queen and the rest is history. The competition, as we say. <laughs> the competition. Yeah, I mean, I, because of RuPaul's Drag Race, got to take my drag all over the world. I have been to so many places that I would never have gotten to see, and I've gotten to share my drag with so many people. Um, it really has uh, changed my entire audience and my outlook on the world. So, um, yeah, I would say everything that I have now, I owe to RuPaul. <laughs> Yeah, I know, exactly. I hope she doesn't come knocking, asking for the, asking for the debt, you know? Uh, the thing that I love most about what I do as Miss Cracker is making people delighted on the street. Because back in the before times, when I could walk around and drag on the street, I'd like to see people's reactions as they watched a drag queen go by in broad daylight. And, um... Now that we're in COVID, I don't get to do that anymore, but it is still my favorite part and I'm looking forward to doing it again. My drag family consists of a bunch of patchy mangy sisters, <laughs> um, but we're all mothered by Bob the Drag Queen who taught us everything we know about hard work, though clearly not anything we know about makeup. <laughs> <laughs> I think I got my sense of humor from my sister because she would always rib me so hard as a kid, I had to learn how to fight back. And sort of that, that battle of words is where I learned to be quick-witted. And um, I still am like in the sibling battleground today when I'm with my drag sisters. Yeah, my hair is how I tell myself who I am. Like if I'm going to uh, wear an outfit or design an outfit, I usually start with thinking about what the hair is going to look like and that tells me what the woman is going to be like. <laughs> Always a powerful woman. I never make a weak woman's hair, okay? <laughs> well, I think it's important for me to lead the way if I can and show everyone that they can be proud of their heritage. For me, it's my Jewish culture. Um, and for anyone watching, they should look at me and be like, oh, I wonder who's in my uh, ancestry. I want to find out about them and celebrate them. So, I mean, it's not so much about being specifically Jewish as just encouraging people to celebrate who they are. You know, what is your bloodline? Right. You know, and I, I love mine. You should love yours. What's yours, I'm Harney? French. You're French? French? Yes. Oh my goodness. Yes. So yes. exotic. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I like to write about other people's problems <laughs> as a way to explore my own. You know what I mean? I like to give people advice so that I can think about how I've confronted the same things and what I did, you know? Well, I am a queer man who owes everything he has to women. I was raised by women. Um, my mother taught me to walk in heels. My sister taught me to read and I'm still reading them today. Um, all my friends in elementary school and high school and college were women. A woman made my Drag Race audition tape and when I look out in the audiences at my performances, I always see that like 80% of the audience is women. <laughs> so I'm like, how can I have all that happen and also scream my tagline, she's a woman, without being interested in the rights of women everywhere? Yes. Nicole Kidman. Nicole okay. Kidman. <laughs> yeah, because she would like the hair, the 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 wigs. Let's be clear, um, and her just like adventurous style. 
because she will wear literally anything and it can be the good, the bad, and the ugly. But I like all of it. I love how much she explores on the red carpet, you know? Absolutely. And she's pale like you, so that really And she's <laughs> just deathly pale, you know? <laughs> I drink tea every single day. I love tea. <laughs> I love tea so much. I specifically drink Harney's peppermint uh, herbal tea. And is uh, there a reason that you like the peppermint over anything else? Yes, because it calms me, makes me think of my childhood. Um, I like the blueberry tea if it has honey in it, because it's too bitter if it doesn't. <laughs> but like once you put that like honey in there, um, it just has this like perfect balance of uh, sweet and sour and it just makes me feel like I'm doing something for myself. And I'm like, this is, this is my moment, or three minutes or five minutes, you know what I mean? Right. <laughs> Do you have a specific teacup that you drink out of? Um, yes, I drink out of my Nicole Kidman uh, <laughs> coffee mug. <laughs> it's not a lie. <laughs> I know. Tea and crackers? I mean, come on. I know. I, I, I drink, I drink uh, coffee out of a teapot in that uh, <laughs> show, and it has driven people absolutely out of their mind. So I will have to fix it. I will have to do a tea-based show at some well, point. Well, you know you have a sponsor if you ever decide to Oh, my goodness. Thank you so much. I'm taking you up on that. You guys heard that. <laughs>